the wheel of fortune and the insect with an incredible metamorphosis cycle welcome back to the metamorphosis tarot project where we blend bug science and art okay so the video recording of me painting the card is corrupted and i've done just about everything i can think of to try and resuscitate it but she's dead so enjoy some voiceover over some images <laughs> There's a story that I always think of when I pull this card. Quickly, it goes like this. There's a new king and his country is about to be attacked. So he gathers his men and sets off to battle. A wise soothsayer hands him a note and says, when you're in the most trouble, read this. There comes a point where a new hero is on the verge of defeat and remembering the paper, reads it. This too shall pass, it reads. He grounds himself, is reinvigorated, and ultimately finds the strength to inspire his men and take down the opposing kingdom. Upon his return, there's feasts, banquets, celebration, and merriment. At the height of the party, the soothsayer tells the king to read the note again. The king says, oh, I read it and it helped me so much when I was in battle. And the soothsayer gestures around to the party and says, read it again. Looking out over the festivities, the king slowly reads the paper. This too shall pass. The wheel is ultimately a reminder of the net neutrality of change and how everything, both good and bad, comes to pass. To represent the cyclical nature of the wheel, I wanted to use an insect life cycle. However, I didn't want just some like boring butterfly one, I wanted a particularly interesting one. So enter the mantid fly. Not a mantis, not a fly, but an insect within the group of the net winged insects. They have a thing called hypermetamorphosis. This is when an insect has two different kinds of larval form depending where it is in its development and what it needs at the time. So enter our young mantid fly. It's just hatched from an egg and it needs to find a wolf spider's egg sac. At this point, the larva that hatches is a long, slender, and highly mobile form to find a wolf spider carrying her eggs, latch on, and get inside. Once inside, the mantid fly doesn't need it seek and destroy body form anymore, so it molts and becomes a kind of blob shape. Its body looks more like a grub and its legs are highly reduced since it's not gonna be walking much anymore. While the female wolf spider is still carrying around what she thinks are her offspring, she's actually hauling around a thick mantid fly who has been eating her eggs the whole time. Eventually, when there are no more spider laying eggs to eat, the super fat and thick larva molts into the pupal stage. This is the equivalent of the chrysalis in butterflies, but this pupa can walk. It chews a hole through the now empty egg sac, climbs up a tree to complete its metamorphosis. Once she emerges as an adult, she'll lay her eggs and the cycle starts over. In the spirit of the mantid fly, here's a question for the naturalist. What is your relationship with change? How can you reflect on the neutrality of the universe's cyclical nature? 